Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to focus on the fishing events. Now every now and then Heyday will hold a fishing event and they will ask you to try to reach a global total uh, by collecting so many pounds of fish. Now to do this you're going to need the fishing area and I'm afraid if you don't have the fishing area opened you can't enter this event. Now to get into the fishing area, you're going to have to buy the fishing boat, and that will cost you 39,000 gold coins. And you can do this from level 27. Once you're in the fishing area, you need land expansion materials to open up the fishing spots. Uh, and in total, there are 10 fishing spots. When you first get this area, you'll get two free spots, uh, so don't worry too much. If you look at my game at the moment, you'll see some of my spots are actually fill up with fishing nets. Now, these fishing nets can be made in the net maker, uh, which allows you to make uh, lobster nets for catching lobsters, which can then be cooked in the lobster cooking machine, or the lobster pool as it's called. Uh, net maker also produces uh, mystery nets, but you're going to need diamonds for that one. Okay, I've just reached my first global goal there, uh, which is nice, and I got a prize. Thank you very much. Now, the aim of the fishing event is to catch the heaviest fish, and to do this, you need to make lures. Now, there are a few kinds of lures. You've got a worm, which is free, takes an hour and 30 minutes. You've got the green lures, which take an hour and 15 minutes to make. Gold lures, which I rarely make, take 30 minutes. Purples, 45. And blues, uh, 1 hour. Now, depending on the kind of fish you want to catch, depends on the kind of lure you're going to need. Now, if you go to the Supercell site, there's an excellent post there uh, that asks you about your fishing, and it gives you all of the areas to go to, gives you the color of the lures, and your chances of catching for the different kind of circles. I'll add that link in the comments later. Now, my main focus is to try and get the smallest circle possible. Now, if I don't get a small circle, I'm going to release the lure uh, and try it again. When you watch the video, you'll notice me doing this a few times. The smaller the circle, the bigger the fish. Now, for the event, you're trying to catch about six fish. Some of these fish are easy to catch. Some of them are more challenging. Now the fish you're looking to catch are the Xander. You need the green and gold lures. The giant barb needs the purple and blue. Lake sturgeon, blue and purple. Carp, gold and green. Nile perch, uh, purple and blue. And the red-tailed catfish, uh, green and w a worm. Now my recommendation for fishing events is to focus on the one lure and a few kinds of fish. So as an example, if you're going with blue, you're going for the giant barbs, the lake sturgeon, and the Nile perch. Uh, don't bother trying to mix and match the lures. Stick with the one. You'll notice in this video I'm uh, using greens uh, a lot. Uh, so I'm basically aiming for the Xander and the carp. If I get those, uh, then uh, hopefully my totals will increase quickly. Okay, I've just caught a Xander now, and that's not a bad weight. Now sometimes, even though you're aiming for the small circles, you will still get other fish. Okay, now that's fine, it's just the weight won't be as much. It's the event fish that actually weigh the most. Uh, and anything under uh, 10 pounds as such is not really a good catch for this event. The fewer times you're in the fishing area, uh, the better fish you can catch, okay, the more prizes you get. Okay, I just got a nice hammer there for that one. Usually for fishing events, you're going to need about 360 pounds. Uh, now, that's 
possible. Uh, it's easy to do very, very quickly. But you've got quite a few days, so there is no rush. If you wish to take your time, no problems. Just make sure that you have lots of lures pre-made and ready in your lure box. Now, if you go with the standard size lure box uh, that comes with the game, okay, uh, you're not going to have many lures. Uh, I would recommend uh, increasing that box. Now, to increase the box, uh, it's called a tackle box in this case, you're going to need nails, screws, and wooden panels. And uh, every increase is an increment of five. Uh, I think currently my box is quite high, so I can hold a lot of lures in it, as well as uh, nets uh, and lobster uh, pots. Okay, let's have a watch and see how I'm doing. Now I've just uh, cast off the lure. Ah, I got a small circle, that's a good one to aim for. The fish is a bit of a fighter, but not too much. You'll see the circle's moving in slowly. Uh, this gives you ample opportunity to keep the fish that's struggling in that small circle, which is not always easy. Come on, get in there! Now, what's it going to be, I wonder? Now, if the circle stays red, uh, then you're losing the fish. Okay, I just caught an event fish. Good, Xander. Now that was a heavy one. Good. Okay, let's try another green here. Okay, what size circle? Not nope, that's a big circle. Let's release the lure. Try again. Big circle. Bye bye. You can do this many times, it doesn't matter. Uh, you don't have to bring in the fish if you don't want to, not during the events. Be patient. Sometimes it takes a long time just to get the tiniest of circles. And it's so frustrating that uh, when you do get that really small circle and the fish puts up such a, f such a fight that uh, you lose it outside. And like, ah! So. I actually enjoy this fishing. It's quite relaxing. Don't always enjoy the prizes, but then again, uh, they're free. I'm not really complaining. Uh, I'm mainly working towards the global event. Uh, and uh, once you've uh, worked towards the global event and achieved it, the choice is yours. You can stop, or you can keep going until you've caught uh, as much fish as you'd like. Now, there are many groups around the world, uh, or individual players, that uh, use their diamonds. Uh, once the bird or the seagull has uh, closed off the area, they send the seagull away and they keep fishing. Now, that's not my cup of tea. Uh, personally, I'd rather wait, uh, come back in a few hours, then fish again, uh, and just take my time and do it slowly. Now, the more people around the world that fish, the faster we reach the global total. Once we reach the global total, then we're going to get uh, the main prize. Now, this could be diamonds, uh, and diamonds are useful. Other events have different kinds of prizes. Now the choice is yours uh, when it comes to lures. You don't have to stick with the one lure. You can change every now and then. So you'll notice here I'm using a blue lure. The circle that's coming up is a medium sized circle. It's not really the smallest. Uh, I'm trying to find one that's much smaller. Okay, this is the size I'm aiming for. Now, fingers crossed, it will be uh, one of the event fish. The circle's going slowly, so it's a strong chance. He's a bit of a fighter. That's usually another indication. Oh, I'm losing him. Come on, get back. 
Now, you've got various techniques for keeping this fish in the center. You can pull from one side to the other side and hope that you can fight the fish. Uh, you can pull backwards and forwards, left to right or top to bottom, and hopefully confuse him. Okay, I've got a leg sturgeon. Cool. A lot of people use different techniques. You can uh, try a spiral effect. Uh, basically what I mean here is uh, just move the, uh, the line around and around and around so it kind of spins the fish. Uh, it confuses the fish you're catching and kind of keeps it in the one place. Doesn't always work, but uh, at least it's a technique. Once you've caught these fish, okay, fillets will go into your barn and they can be used uh, within the game on the farm to make other products. Just because it's a fishing event, you are not losing the fillets. So it's a good way to uh, boost up your fish fillet stock. When I'm not doing an event, usually I use the nets. Uh, I make those nets, uh, just leave them there for the number of hours it takes, and then later come back and just collect the fee fish. The lures I make, I save up. When it gets to the event, then I use them. Ah, now that one's really small. This is the kind of circle you're aiming for. Circles moving in slowly, a little bit too fast for my liking though, so it may not be an event fish. Yep, I was right, it wasn't an event fish. Still, that's a nice weight. Now if you think the circle is moving too quickly, then cast off the lure and try again. However, uh, if you open up your album by going to the hut, you can see which fish you want to catch. And sometimes those smaller fish circles give you three diamonds, because they're the gold. Okay, you can see the kind of fish I've caught so far. Okay, these are the event fish. There's the Zand and the Giant Barb. Notice the logo that's different at the top of the fish image. Now for these two fish, I've caught all the fish I need to catch for the rewards. For the bronze, you'll get uh, diamonds. For the silver, you get diamonds. And for the gold, you get diamonds. Okay, Lake Sturgeon and Carp, I've caught all of them as well. Now even though I've caught the required fish, I can still keep catching them. Okay, these are my next two goals. The Nail Perch and the Red-Tailed Catfish. At the moment I'm after the red-tailed catfish, uh, and if I'm lucky I might get the Nile Perch. Okay, that's my fishing album. Okay, this is your lure machine. To make the lure, just uh, drag it on down. You need to get vouchers from within the game, uh, and then they can be used to make these. My storage is 90, 67. This is how you upgrade, and no, I'm not going to do it. Okay, little seagulls are on each of the pools, so I can't fish, so I need to come back later. Now let's jump back to my farm, and have a look at the board. Now you'll see I caught 64 pounds in that, and I got two of the prizes, and the global goal has been reached for me. Now if everybody helps us to reach the global goal, which is a lot, that's a lot of fish. We all get five diamonds. Now quite often, uh, we don't reach these goals because sometimes the figures are too high. Okay, I'm back to my fishing area. Let's just collect in some of those nets. Okay, the birds have gone. These nets are ready to collect. 
so I can free up some spaces. Now I know they're ready because they're kind of bouncing in the water. You get a little sparkly effect and it gives me free fillets. Thank you very much. But these uh, fish fillets don't count towards the weight total. So don't think you can cast lots of nets and collect uh, everything for the global event. It doesn't work that way. Sorry. Ah, a small circle. And it's moving reasonably slowly. Struggling a little bit. Mm, possibly. Yes, that's a nice little fish to catch, but not the one I'm looking for. This location is an ideal location for finding the Pearl of the Sea, by the way. Now I've tried a few times to make mystery nets and give it a go, but uh, I kind of gave up considering the nets at the time had a fault. And uh, I don't really want the uh, Pearl of the Sea. It's just a decoration and uh, not really beneficial for my farm. Now other people who are more into decorating, they may like it. So give it a go. Make that mystery net, use five diamonds and good luck. Also remember that when you do use the mystery net, you might find you're getting other prizes as well. I've seen people pick up some nice goodies. Okay, another Xander caught there. I'm uh, doing quite nicely within my uh, weight total at the moment. Now, I wonder what those seagulls are thinking. Hmm. The design of this fishing area is actually quite interesting. I like the way they have barrels and logs floating in the water. Uh, they got the old reeds sticking up. Uh, the design and the detail that went into this is great. You can see the clouds moving above, uh, which gives you a nice reflection on the ocean. You've got birds flying across. You got the ripple effect and splashes, the shadows of the fish. I wonder how much time and effort they put into this. Certainly wish I had the skill for making this kind of thing. I like the way the decoration or the image changes during the different seasons as well. When it's winter, as an example, you end up with a snowy uh, kind of a uh, background. Uh, it's quite pretty. During the events, like a Halloween, as an example, you'll find uh, ghosts walking across the water. Tap on those ghosts and you pick up prizes as well. Even better. Now that kind of event I miss. I enjoyed those. Okay, a medium-sized circle, standard fish, nothing important there. Spotted sunfish in this case. The weight's okay, but it's only half the size that I'm actually looking for. Seagull sitting there on the water again. I know you want me to go away, but uh, we're just watching you for the moment. Now, can anyone tell me why there's an anchor sticking out the window of the house? Do they think that maybe the house might blow away because of a typhoon or a hurricane or something like that? Maybe they're concerned about a tsunami? Uh, can you imagine that coming down the river from the ocean? Uh, and maybe the anchor's needed for that. Okay, this fish is a fighter. The circle's going slowly. Okay, I'm gonna lose it. Ooh, ah, it was a Xander as well. Blast, that would have been good. Coming back to the hut again. 
Now, one option I would like uh, Supercell to introduce in the future is maybe upgrading these buildings. Now, it's nice. Uh, I do like it. But it would be nice if we had the option of actually changing the design by upgrading it if we wanted to. So, just by spending uh, expansion materials, uh, we could upgrade to a different design uh, and then basically make our fishing huts uh, a little different. Imagine all the different games with uh, different kinds of fishing huts uh, instead of everybody just having the same standard image. Ah, he's come to join me as I'm fishing here. Wonder if he's uh, going for the global total as well. Okay, no special fish here yet. Look at the flowers as they're floating on the pond. That's so cool. That's another thing I'd like as well. Uh, we decorate other areas of our farm. Uh, why can't we decorate this area? You've got all this land around uh, the lake. Uh, it would be nice to be able to actually add things to it as well. Let us personalize it a little bit more. That's what I'd like to ask for. The town, we can modify that. Uh, the farm, we can change that. But the fishing area, it's the same. We can't do anything to it at all. Oh, and in case you hadn't noticed, uh, I've now uh, increased my level and I'm level 76. Uh, to reach level 77, uh, I need to achieve 443,000 experience points. Now, I wonder how long it will take me to do that. Actually, not long. Yeah, okay, vouchers too. That's nice. Gold would be better, but purple's okay. A lot of people often ask me about the diamonds and coins I have as well. Usually the question is... Uh, how do you get so many coins? How comes you have so many diamonds? Now, I'm going to make another video just to uh, give you an idea on how I make uh, those coins and uh, how I get the diamonds. Uh, all you do is play the game, and it's very, very simple. Look at the detail on that waterfall. As the water rolls down there and then hits uh, the base of the fall, you get that little bit of a splash. Nice little ripple there as well. Look at the trees. Look at the way that they're blowing in the winds. Even the reeds sway from side to side. Rub gives me 14 experience points. So one thing about the fish, depending on the lure you use and the fish you catch, uh, the XP actually does vary. If you want to increase your XP, uh, plus uh, catch lots of uh, fish and get the fillets, then fishing's the way to go. I don't actually use gold uh, lures, uh, at least uh, I haven't for a while. Uh, I've got around 60 uh, in the kitty at the moment. Uh, I'm working my way towards 100. 
Now, golds are not so easy to come by. Uh, I know there are some uh, suggestions within the forum itself, uh, and uh, it tells you how to get more golds. Uh, but uh, I've never been lucky with achieving lots of golds quickly. So I'm just saving them up uh, as they come. Uh, and then once I get a hundred, uh, I'm going to take a photo and uh, join the hundred gold voucher club. And then once that's done, I'm going to use all of my gold vouchers, change them into gold lures, and hunt for those special elusive fish that I haven't got yet. Wonder how long that would take. I really hope that uh, I can actually uh, get all of those special fish with the gold lures. I would hate to use a hundred lures uh, and not get all three rewards. That would suck big style. question for you. Now I'm watching uh, myself fishing here uh, and it's uh, quite relaxing just sitting back and uh, watching my lure uh, bounce up and down and uh, remembering the fish that I caught or the fish that I didn't catch. But when you're watching the video and you're just watching this and you're listening to my voice, what do you think about? Are you thinking about the fish I'm catching? Uh, are you thinking about uh, what you're going to have for dinner? Why not make a few comments? Let me know. When you do your fishing, uh, what do you think about? Are you very competitive? Uh, do you like the challenge? Okay, that's all the areas done. Uh, let's go back. Okay, nothing special there. Nope. Of all the fish I caught, none of them were ones that uh, would give me more diamonds. So, let's go back to the board and see how I'm doing. Okay, 111 pounds now, so that's not bad. Three rewards done, and three days and 14 hours left. Okay, ah, 47 million and three days left. Uh, I don't think we're going to do it. Still, let's give it a go. Okay. Make another fishing net for my lobsters. Okay. Right, green lure to start with this time. Yep, big circle, no thank you. Big, nope. Come on, give me a small circle. Aha, perfect. Okay, it's going slowly, he's fighting me. Okay, a nice sander there. How much is he? Okay, 11.747. That's nice. That will increase the total quite nicely. Nope. That 
circles too big. When you look at the shadows, and then the same shadow comes back, I wonder if it's the same fish or a different fish. Sometimes you'll get a different shadow, so I'm assuming that's a different fish entirely, but uh, you never know. Okay, just to let you know, quite often you'll see a fish jump out of the water. This usually indicates that uh, the group of fish that you're trying to catch from has changed. So every time one of the fish jumps, basically you're going to get new fish under the water. Okay, now the fish should be replaced. Sometimes one fish will jump, sometimes two. Sometimes a jumping fish won't come so quickly. What the pattern is, I don't know. Say one thing though, I wish I could catch the fish as they're jumping. As they fly through the air, use my baseball bat and knock them out of the lake and uh, onto the side of the bank. Still, I suppose if I did that, someone would uh, complain about uh, cruelty to fish. Still, battered fish is quite tasty. <laughs> I actually had fish for dinner tonight. My family and I went out for sushi, uh, and I had 14 plates of raw fish. It was awesome. I think my boys eat too much though. I had 14 plates, and uh, they had more than I did. Okay, won't be long before these ones are finished. Some of them are an hour, some of them are only a few minutes left have only a few minutes left. Now should I wait and watch or should I just go away and come back in about five minutes or so? Let's go away. Check my totals and see how I'm doing. Now last time I think it was hundred and eleven, so what is it this time? 134. That's not bad. 190 to achieve. Okay, 61 million now. Okay, those spaces should be ready. Let's jump back quickly. Yep, the seagulls have gone. Let's get some more lures on the go. Collect those lobster pots and nets. The only problem with the fishing events, sometimes I need lobster tails. So it means that uh, I either have to uh, take up one uh, fishing area for a lobster trap. Uh, or uh, the lobster tails just have to wait. Now I don't mind waiting, uh, I can make them overnight uh, on occasion, uh, but uh, the town is a bit demanding sometimes. I ended up using uh, about eight lobster tails today. Plus I had to make some soups as well. 
So my stock was depleted very quickly. Okay, my experience now is up to 19,000, so I'm uh, well on my way to achieving the next level. Hmm. Only 400 odd to go. Now that boat that's actually sunk under the water. Where did it come from? Whose boat was it? Do we have pirates in the vicinity? Is it one of the old fishing boats that uh, got dragged under by uh, one of the special fish because it was too heavy? I wonder. Maybe uh, the local fisherman just sank it there, uh, just to give the fish somewhere to live. Okay, that's another one caught, so I've moved to a different area again. Okay, good, a small circle. A little bit of a pull on this one, so backwards and forward motion, but it's just the rod. Mm. The weight's okay. Now I like these two additions that we've got at the bottom of the lake. Uh, that was the last update on the fishing area. Uh, the way the rocks are actually uh, in a circle like this is quite nice. I like the way the fishing area is kind of developing. Uh, I wish that they would actually come up with some more options. Maybe sometimes uh, allowing us to uh, modify uh, our own uh, lake areas the way we would like, just like we do with the town and just like we do with the farm. For example, you see the log to the left hand side there. It would be really cool if I could actually position that in a different place. Maybe change the angle. Maybe completely remove it. you've got the flowers just floating there on the pond. Uh, how about giving us the option to add some more? That waterfall's beautiful. Near my workplace we have a wall where the water just runs down it exactly like this. Somehow, though, I don't think my local council would uh, take kindly to me uh, fishing in the water, though, even though there's nothing in it. Actually, I'll tell a lie, there were some cans thrown in there the other day. I'd love to be able to put a picnic mat in the background there. Maybe a picnic bench as well. Island in the center is nice, but it's a little bit barren. Okay, now I'm going to use some of my spaces. Uh, I've added a fishing net, which will take 20 hours, uh, and I've added some lobster pot, lobster pot, sorry, which will take six hours. Uh, I'm going to leave those overnight and come back tomorrow morning, uh, and uh, when I do, the lobsters will be ready. Uh, fishing net will be half done. Okay, checking the album to see if I've caught any new fish, and I know I haven't before I even get anywhere. So, no more diamonds to claim yet. Okay, but before I do go to bed, though, let's have a look at the scoreboard and see how I'm doing. Okay, two days, 21 hours left, 164 pounds on that. 
140 million done so far with two days left. Can we do it? Maybe yes, maybe no. Let's see what other people have done. Okay, we've got the top neighborhoods here. And uh, as you can see, that's quite a nice amount. Recent contributions from some of my friends. Ah, okay. And the top contributor there, still the same person. These guys must use a lot of diamonds. Okay, well I'm getting close to 190 pounds for the next award. I wonder what it will be. Okay, back to my farm. I had a nice sleep. Okay, let's do some maintenance again. Get rid of those lures. Put some more on the tackle bench. Or sorry, the lure workbench. Take in those nets and get another one making. Okay, let's get my lobsters, the two that I... Um, there he is, trapped inside my lobster pots. Poor little boy. I love lobster. Now they're going to sit in the pool and gradually cook and play. Nice little onsen for them. Six hours time, I can get those. Uh, okay, all the spaces are free except for the one where I put the net. So let's do a little fishing. Now I'm getting to the stage where uh, I don't really want to be uh, watching as I uh, let go of the uh, fishing lines and then recast and let go again. So I'm probably going to be jumping ahead a lot more. Seeing what I've caught, okay, just giving you some ideas of some of the fish that uh, you can get. Or if you look at the way I, I'm uh, moving that line from left to right, top to down as I fight with the fish. Just pulling doesn't always work. Yeah, there was a spin option there. Ooh, almost lost him. Come on, get in that circle and stay there. Okay, it's nice the fact that the circle goes very slowly, but when you get a fighter like this, uh, it's too much time. Still, you can't have it both ways. Okay, what is it? It's a Xander. And it's not even a heavy one. He must have just been impatient to get away. <laughs> Back to the pirate ship. No, those are too big. Give me the small circles. Jumped ahead a little bit. Small circle in the center. What am I going to get? Ah, it's a rud. 14 XP, that's very nice. Uh, ooh, not bad weight though. Right, jumping back to the farm. 221 pounds. Uh, my last reward there was from two planks. Two days, 14 hours, 172 million. Okay, 360 pounds to get. Back to the farm again. Okay. Fishing net's got nine hours to go. Collect those lures again.
fighting a little but not too much. Ooh, different fish. A brook trout. I like that. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Again jumping ahead. A Xander. birds they have flying across the screen are quite interesting. How about giving us some different ones though? Just to make it a little bit more interesting. Another Xander, perfect. All of these heavy fish are good towards my total. pounds there, that's good. Okay, a few more slots. Yeah, the ones I don't like. Okay, northern studfish from that one, very small in weight. Largemouth bass there. bit of a fighter, but the circle's closing in too quickly. I don't believe this is an event fish. Yep, thought so. And that's a grass carp. Ooh, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Last time I had one of those I got diamonds. I wonder... I need to finish these ones quickly so I can check my photo album. That would be so cool if I actually get diamonds for a fish within this event. Northern studfish, it's okay, but uh, again, not what I want. Okay, all the areas are done. Let's go and have a look at my huts. Quickly hunt through my album. I know I got something special there. Fingers crossed. Okay, almost there. Yeah, that's a Gold, 2.565 pounds for a grass carp. Three diamonds, thank you very much. Well, that was cool. Brook trout was the other one I caught, but I'd already uh, achieved all of those ones. Three there I still haven't got. Okay, this vegetarian fish leads a simple, healthy life. Uh, Tips does not like worms. Okay, let's go to the farm and check the board. Two hundred and seventy one pounds, that's another ninety pounds left to go. That's cool. 
two days and ten hours, 194 million there. Mm, so it made 195. Okay, right, jumping back to uh, my pool again after a good night's sleep. Okay, this time I'm going to put some lobster traps on. With the amount of fish I need to catch, uh, I don't really need to be making uh, fishing nets at the moment. I need more lobsters. Let these two jump into the water. Thank you very much for giving me your tails. Now you can swim away. Right, I got a sparkly net. That means it's ready to be harvested and free fish. But they don't count towards the total, which is a shame. Now these lures are nice, but let's look at the machine. Yeah, detail on this machine is great, but it only ever seems to make the green lures. I wish it would make some other colours. Okay, let's see if I can get any uh, small circles. Yeah, one straight off the bat. Okay, nice Xander, that's perfect. Okay, let's see what I get this time. Come on, fish, bite that. Okay, large is no good. Let that one go, try again. Ah, nice small circle. Now on the f I'm on the final legs of this event. Uh, if I can uh, catch all fish uh, around the ten pound plus mark, uh, I should finish very soon. That one was just over, which is good. Another small circle here. little bit of a fighter slowly moving in yep a Xander that's good can't give me a 12 uh oh 11.5 that's okay yeah. I just had about 10 goes to get a small circle finally get one then lose the fish typical let's try that again Looks like my luck's against me. Large circles are back. Can't believe it. All of those large circles get a small one, then I lose it. The critical moment. That's what happens when you lose concentration because someone calls you. Now, I like the sparkliness here. Uh, you've got the shadows of the fish moving under the water. Fish are jumping out. The detail is wonderful. I wonder whose idea it was to come up with this. I know one thing. Thank you very much, whoever you were. Uh, it's these little bits of uh, imagery that make the game more interesting to play. These role-playing style games where you have to do things uh, really appeal to me. I enjoy the time that it takes to do the things. Never in a rush, just do it in my free time. Yep, I really hate this location. Come on, give me a small circle. All I ask for is one little small circle. Now, oh, plus a 12 pound fish, of course, but uh, that's uh, given. Yeah, there we go. Don't you dare lose it this time. Okay, struggle for me, but 
don't struggle too hard. Hmm. And it's a rud. After all of that effort, all it was is a rud. <sighs> Maybe better luck in this area. Fingers crossed. Oh, I didn't see a shadow there. Maybe it was a lot deeper in the water. Come on, bite. Okay. What's it going to be? Okay, another Xander. Perfect. Okay, that's another eleven pounds for the catch. Let's see what's next. Right, my last green lure. Wonder how much it costs for a uh, green lure if I spend diamonds. Now, a small circle, just what I want. Will it give me a big fish? Hmm. Don't think so. In this case, the circle's moving too quickly. Yep, I was right. It's a rud. Still, four pounds, that's good. Okay, a couple more spaces left. And uh, 19 diamonds for a green lure. Uh, no, thank you. Five diamonds for a worm. 83 diamonds for gold. You've got to be joshing me. Okay, let's use some blues. Now, I just started with a blue here, but I'm kind of thinking, is that a mistake? Now, before you just start using your lures willy-nilly, go back to your hut uh, and actually look at the fish you need to catch. Uh, you may find that uh, it's better to use a different color lure. Okay, this is the second one that needs purple. Uh, it's a bitterling, and if I use purple, I can get the heaviest fish if I'm lucky. Another one there for the asp. Speckled dace, I'm not going to bother because I'm not using gold at the moment. Okay, Arctic char will give me a heavy fish if I'm lucky. Greater red horse, that's another possibility. Okay, I could get another grass carp. Okay, long ear sunfish. Hmm. Now, giant barb would be nice, or more lake sturgeons. Now, if I can get this one, the Nile perch, that would be perfect. It's not old Angus, but uh, it could still be caught. Okay, let's use purple. I think that's much more beneficial to me. And I've got 19 left. Oh, small one. That's straight off the bat. Perfect. Circle's moving reasonably slowly, but a little bit too fast for my liking. Still, we'll see. Fish is a bit of a struggler. I'm pulling from left to right as I fight the fish. Gradually changing the direction of my pool just to confuse it into which direction I want it to go. Ah, he won't stay in the centre fuck long enough for me to close the circle round him. Ah, a bitterling. Good fight, young man. Okay, these are my last two chances. Can I get the £90 I'm looking for? What will be my prize, I wonder? Let's wait and see. Now I know not everybody likes the prizes we get, and I know the prizes can be different for every player. Uh, 
I actually kind of don't mind at the end of the day because it's not as if I'm buying the items and it's free. It's a reward for fishing and I need the fillets anyway. Uh, the diamonds are very useful. I do wish though that the quantities were much greater. I feel that if the quantities of the rewards were higher, more people would compete in the events to a certain extent. Uh, and then that way more people compete, the uh, higher the rewards uh, they get, uh, the more fish or items are actually donated or collected for the events, uh, then more chances of achieving the global amount. Everyone's kind of been getting a little bit uh, lethargic or not so pleased with their events these days. What with the town, it makes it quite challenging sometimes. Okay, I had a lake sturgeon for the last one. What's this going to be? A giant bar. Perfect. 11.57 kilos. That's good. Now, okay, one fishing spot left. Let's use a purple. Fingers crossed, everybody. Can I achieve the goal? Small circle to start with, or reasonably small. Small, medium to small, I think. It's moving in slowly, a bit of a struggle. Ah, I lost it. No! But maybe that was supposed to happen. Okay, slow moving circle again, a little bit of a fighter. But again, another red circle borderline. Oh my goodness. I hope these are not opportunities getting away from me to achieve my goal. It would be so gut-wrenching if I couldn't do it for this last slot. Come on! Oh, and another one. I'm not having much luck here. I think if I get a struggler next time, I'm going to spin it. detail of this area is actually quite good as well. Mushrooms on the side of the bank which look quite nice. The pond flowers look pretty cool. Even the edge of the banking is quite nice. I do love the detail. Okay, looks like we have a good opportunity here. It's a bit of a fighter, as you can see from the length of my line. Come on, okay, right. Now, he's borderline red again, so I'm going to pull from side to side to bring him back. Okay, looks like I've got it. Oh, whoa. Now, it's a nail perch, one of the ones I'm aiming for. And did you see that final prize? Five gold vouchers. Oh, my God, that's totally awesome. Gold vouchers, wonderful. Thank you very much. Now, this is the kind of prize I like. Now, ten vouchers would be better. Maybe twenty would be even nicer, considering the amount of vouchers we're using in this game. Okay, let's see what fish I was supposed to catch and introduce them to you. Now, that was the one I caught earlier. Very nice. Not quite the maximum, which is a shame. That was the beauty that gave me the diamond earlier in the game. 
Okay, we're coming up to the event fish, the Xander and the Giant Barb. This huge predator is eager to snap up your lure. All other fish will cheer if you manage to reel him in. I got lots today. Don't get fresh with Barb. She is the biggest fish in the pond and has an attitude to match. And she is also one of the heaviest, so good luck. Lake Sturgeon, thick skin, nips and bites all you like. Carp, the teddy bear of the lake, cute and huggable. Not sure if I'd hug a fish though. Nile Perch, that was the last one I caught. Uh, again, he's not Angus, but uh, it's well worth catching. And this beautiful fish has a massive appetite. Now, these two here and this one I've not seen yet, and I would love to catch those. I don't even know what they look like, so maybe later I will look at another person's fishing area just to have a shifty. Okay, let's go back to the leaders board and see how we're doing. Have we achieved the global goal? Are we going to fail? Fingers crossed, everybody. I've done my weight. Have you done yours? So, £360 was the limit to get, and I got £362. Now, I'm going to stop. I'm not one of these people that actually continues fishing, I'm afraid to say. Uh, I've got other things to do on my farm. Okay, a day and a half left, and 280 million there. Who possible? I don't know. Let's jump ahead and find out. Okay, 10 hours left. And the total is... Whoa! 431. That was a hell of a big jump. Okay, these are the top contributors. I think I'll look at this person's farm and then jump to his fishing area. Okay, ah, he has a lot of decorations, or so is she, I don't know. Ah, so they have a lot of decorations. Now this is not um, for me, uh, rather, I'd rather just keep the farm looking like a farm. Ah, but some people do decorate and there are some interesting designs out there. Uh, personally, uh, I don't like that. Uh, I'd rather decorate the town now we have that addition. Uh, still, if you want a golden pig or horse, um, suppose it's nice. Okay, this is his fishing area. Let's have a look at his fishing spots. Okay, they're all closed off at the moment. Uh, I can assume by his total he's achieved the fishing area. And his level's 160. Cool. Okay, everything's done there. Nice. Uh -huh, he's still got the bitling to do. Still needs a speckled dace. Rainbow smelt still to go. Mm. Someone's a serious fisherman. I wonder if they have caught those fish I don't have. Okay, they've done all the event fish. Okay, a white catfish and a black bullhead. Those are my missing fish. And a gold fish. Ooh. Not sure how I would feel about eating a gold fish, though. Okay, looks like I've got to hunt for him at night. And this one's a good father, just like me. Okay, let's jump back to my farm and check the boards. From the total we had earlier, we must have completed the global goal. Okay, it's going up 431 million. Ooh, we're almost there. Okay, there we go. 432 million uh, collected. We have now achieved a global goal. But it won't recognize it because you need to close it and open it back up again for the mayor to notice it hits the light bulbs at the total. So I'm going to close this in a second, then open it back up. The total bar will now fill up. When he gets to the fourth bowl, the mayor will see it and say, Yay! Congratulations, you've got your five diamonds. 
and then it's just time to wait for Mr. Posty. Ready? Steady. Flash. There we go. Yay! Round of applause, everybody. Now, thank you very much to all of those neighbourhoods out there, uh, especially the top ones, all of those individual collectors, and my friends and followers for donating fish. If it weren't for you people, we wouldn't have five diamonds. Keep up the good work. OK, here comes Mr. Posty, walking along. Hurry up, young man. Give me my diamonds. Now I currently have 92 diamonds. I'm about to get five more. This is one way of increasing your diamond total without buying any. Visitors, get out my way. Okay, let's open her up. Thank you very much for your participation. We did it. Please accept this reward as a thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, Mr. Mayor. Let's claim. OK, that's the fishing event done. Uh, you've seen some of the things that I do. You've looked at the kind of fish I've caught, and I've given you some tips. Hope you enjoy watching the video, and see you in the next event. Good luck. Bye-bye.